Hey guys, am I visible? Here, bro. Let me know if you're here. I like my new setup. Let me know if you can hear me at all. I'll share this on Instagram and we're ready to go. Hey, if you want to join me to an upper body workout, I'll leave a YouTube link here in this video so you can go there and then watch it on your big screen. Come and join me. Okay, I'm gonna start and then we're gonna go. You will need maybe a set of dumbbells. I'll try to show some variations but you can switch it up, but we're gonna do as many exercises as we can with dumbbells and maybe use a little bit of bands. If you have a band, you can use that as well. So let's start with the warm up. So what I'm gonna do is Okay. okay, now for body. So we're gonna do walk out, do a push up, hold the side plank, do a push up, hold the side plank. We're gonna do 48 sides, so eight push up. So what you can do here is you can do a push up on the knee, and then come up and then turn. Or you can just do normal push up, go back up, turn. Okay, two more. One more. And okay, you're going to stay in the floor. You're going to do a an bow and arrow. So what we're gonna do is put your hands up on the back of your head, elbow goes through the hole, and then we're gonna go and try to look up to the ceiling. Up to the ceiling. You wanna keep your lower your lower body detached, so it's only your T-spine, your upper back, working, pointing up to the ceiling. You do 10 on one side, and then switch, Push with the left, pull with the right, up to the ceiling. And, okay, I'm gonna lay down on the floor, pull your legs up. Push your fist in between your knee, and we're gonna draw a big circle on the floor. Big circle. You try to middle finger down, and then once you pass your head, you can turn your hand up to the ceiling, and then big circle. Big circle. Give you one more. And time. Okay, don't worry if you can't put your hand down on the floor. What you want to do is just reach as far as you can. If you're up here, then you're up here. 
with time, you'll be able to put your hand down. Just keep your knees together when you're doing this. So you can keep your, what we're doing here by keeping the legs together is we're not compensating by opening up the hip. So you can pull the legs together and then a big circle. So it's a lot of the shoulder and your legs. If you've been sitting all day in one position, this is a great stretch for that. And then we're gonna warm up the lower back. You can pull position. So pull on your knee, tuck your chin close to the knee, and then we're gonna just roll back and forth here. So maybe it's harder than it looks. So if you cannot do this, you can just try to do this by pulling your leg over your head. Okay. You're gonna do 10 arm circles backwards. And then 10 forward. Okay, when you're ready, you're gonna start with the push-ups. So you're gonna do 10 push-ups, 10 too much, then you just drop on your knees, or you can start from the floor, I'll show you two variations. So you can eat in the normal push-ups, you can do it on the knees, or you can do it from the floor by reaching forward, get up, push yourself up, bang, come down, end up, push yourself up. Okay, this first round shouldn't be hard, should be easy to do. So choose, choose a variation where you can, you're able to do 10 with ease, okay? So it shouldn't be a maximum yet. Ready? Core tight. And all the way up. All the way down. And okay, as a rest, we're gonna do some lower back mobility, still kind of like a second warm up. So you just lay down on the back, arms on the side, keep your knees tight, and then you're gonna go side to side, touch the floor, but keep your shoulders on the floor as well. So, knee, touch the floor, legs together. Then just move side to side. You should feel a nice stretch on the lower back if you do it right. Still an easy variation. Just keep your knees tight. Let's do one more each side. And time. Okay. Once you're done, you go back to push ups. Ready? 10 push ups again. Easy variation. Shouldn't be hard. And then we're going to go back to the Windshield, what we're going to do is, now you're going to try to extend the leg a little higher. So, lay down, and extend. So now, the lever arm is longer, so it's a bigger stretch, and it's harder on your abs as well. Let's do three, four. And five. Okay. All right. Last set on the push up. Remember, you can do it from the floor, on your knees, or full push up variation. Do whatever is the easiest for you. This is just a build up round, okay? It's not the actual workout yet. So, either on the knee, 
from the floor or normal push-ups. Try to keep your elbows nice and tight next to you. Don't go too wide, okay? The whole thing, it's a second warm-up, so you wanna go through full range of motion. Not just half. Cool, all the way down, all the way up. Let's go. Okay. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Okay. Well, I'm done. And now we're gonna move into the real workout. So for this, you will need one dumbbell. Or you can use books. We're still gonna do push-ups. We're gonna do just one-sided. So what we need for this is again you can do this on your knee if you have to. But what we're gonna do is keep just one dumbbell down, and the other arm is gonna be lower than the than the one is in the dumbbell. So you're gonna look like this, and then once you come up. You try to turn up a little bit and squeeze the right side in to the dumbbell. So let me show you what I mean. So one hand is on the floor, the cable fly from the gym, and we're doing this, right? The arm coming closer to the chest. Now we're doing this, but we, the arm is fixed, so we're bringing the chest closer to the arm. Okay, just a little turn. In the end, we're gonna do anything from five to ten on one side, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. So let's do just five, five, see how this goes. So you can do it on me if you want, and then up, or you can do full push. Let's go, just five, one, and turn, two, and turn, three, four, and five. Okay, switch side. Same thing. One, two, three, four, and five. Whew. And once you we haven't finished yet, now you're gonna grab the dumbbell. Or if you have water jerk or something, we're gonna do overhead press. Just single arm. So sit down, press overhead, come back down, press overhead, and down. Four, five, six, seven. Try to go all the way down, all the way up, same thing. Four. Okay, I'm gonna take a little break here and I'm gonna explain a couple things. So it's really depending on what kind of dumbbell you have home. I only have nine kilos, so I'm doing supersets here. If you have a heavier dumbbell, you can overload the shoulder press. You can separate these two uh, exercises. You don't have to do a superset. The reason I do this here, so by the push-up, I'm trying to exhaust my shoulders a little bit. So the shoulder press is gonna be harder because the, muscle, the muscles are already a bit tired. That's why I'm doing it here. So it's pre fatigue, making the exercise harder by supersetting. If it's if you have heavier dumbbell, then you can do just the push-ups, take a minute break, and then shoulder press. I'll just do the push-ups for three sets, and then do three sets of shoulder press. But what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna use two dumbbells in the next set for shoulder armor press, because it's already, the shoulders are already gonna be fatigued, but standing or an armor press is an easier variation 
So we can still push the shoulders a little extra. So let's go back to the push ups and then supersetting the shoulder press if you do it with me. Do it this way. Ready? Starting on the right side for me. You always want to keep your, your arms stacked up. So wrist and elbows are tight. You don't want to be here where your forearm is touching the side of the dumbbell. So always two, three, four, five, and switch. For the shoulders, sit down, shoulder press, touch the shoulder, press away, shoulder, press away, three, four. Now you want to do this is your elbow, your dumbbell should point to the corner of the room and then to the side of the room. There's a little bit of a rotation. This is much harder than already than the first one. So, let forward a little bit of an angle, press and turn, come back down to the corner. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, have a good minute break. Put some water and into the next one. One more set. So the reason you want to do the twist again, because you do a normal push-up here with the twist, you get an extra, we go if you can see this, you get an extra squeeze on the chest. When you do a push-up, turn, you're gonna have an extra squeeze. You can work on your inner thighs, inner muscle fibers on your chest. So that's why we turn into the push up. That's where you want to feel it. It's the inner side of your chest. So press and twist. Press and twist. Okay, you have like 30 seconds. One more round. Getting hard, huh? It would be. It's much easier if you have some motivation. All right, last round. Let's go for it. Stack up your joints. Nice and stiff. Core tight, glutes, full body. Twist and twist and twist. Four. Four. And switch. Okay. Turn. Get ready. Go at least straight. Glutes. <coughs> Two, three, four, and five. Oof. Let's go for the press. Shoulder press. Sorry. Sit down and press. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof. Getting harder. And time. I like dumbbell, I feel heavy. If you're doing pretty fatigue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and time. Big break. And then we're going to the next set. You're gonna work on the back a little bit. You're gonna do some bang over row. Okay, before it is, you might need a heavier dumbbell. So if you have a heavier one, put, the, put it in the maximum. 
Uh, I'm gonna hold the two knives together. It's not the most comfortable, but it's what I'm gonna do. And I'm do some bend over row, single arm, and then switch side, do the same. So for this, you will need the furniture. I'm gonna use the little bench over there. And what you wanna do is, I'm gonna make a cross with the dumbbell, just like this. And I'm gonna try to pull them together. Oh, it's still a bit light for me. So I'm gonna go around 15 reps each side, very slow, trying to feel the muscle. So I'm gonna do like a one second up, two second down, trying to stay a half minute on the muscle, maybe four or five seconds, and then switch side in a mini break, go back. We have three, side, three rounds in this. So the setup is gonna be up here, hold it tight, and then one, two, It's good for the forearm, holding the dumbbells together. Okay, switch side, 15 on the other. Okay, let's go. And 15. Okay, 60 seconds break. Let me show you how I do the dumbbells. So, on one, cross the other, just like this. And then I can make the roll. I can make the roll happening. It's a bit tricky, but hey, work what we have. These whole workouts are so sweaty. So I don't know, like in the gym and in the aircon, it's much different than here. Okay, hopefully. Okay, switch side. Always start with the weak run. All leg. So, if you really know what you want to feel is it's your lats working. This big muscle here, so you want to squeeze when you come up. I saw people, they go over too much. I don't feel my lats that, that way. What I like to do is just get my elbow as close as you can to my body. I don't try to overshoot, it takes pressure off from my, from my legs. But if I tight my elbow here, right next to my body, I feel so much more 
contraction rather than coming up here. I think it's more shifting up to the real delt. So I want to keep up. Everyone's form is going to be a little different than this one. You want to feel the muscle, especially it's a, it's a muscle building. We're trying to build muscle, hold, keep our muscles with light weight. So you always want to go for feeling. You want to contract the muscles. You want to work on the muscles. So try to make as much damage as possible so you can recover. It's hopefully going to grow. So you want to slow down the movement. You really want to feel. You want to have those mind muscle connections, as we call to create that tension on the muscle. You want to go inside the muscle, really feel what you're working on. So that's how you can do it. It's just slowing down the movement, whether it's a push up, a pull up, a squat. Just really want to feel those muscle fibers doing their job. We're going to have one more set here, and then we're moving back to the shoulders. Ready? Let's go. 15. So uh, all right, great legs. Uh, shoulder up, chest up, one, two, three, four, five, six, And five. Ooh. Okay. Now the strong arm. It's gonna be easier. But because you're tired, they probably gonna be the same now. So set up the dumbbells. Oh no, let's go. Shoulders back, chest out. Two. Three. All right, this is done. Whew. Hey, if you're doing it with me, you're doing great. You're gonna do some. Arnold press, so holding dumbbells together, press overhead. You gotta do seated. You can do standing, I always prefer to do standing because your core is working, it's always more athletic to stay, stay on your feet, but the sitting is so low here. I'm gonna hit the dumbbells to sitting, so I have to sit down for this. So Arnold press, seated. We're gonna go, I don't know, anything depends on your dumbbells. You go close to failure, okay? Do as many as you can, but leave one or two in the tank. So if you can feel you can do one or two more, stop there because we're going to do three sets. The last set, we try to go to failure so we cannot do more. Okay? And then we have a cool finisher and then five minutes on the abs and then done. So we have around a good 50 minutes and we're done. Ready? Let's go back inside. So, seated shoulder press. I think I can come closer for this. Maybe here. And then, sit down. So, for this, you want to bring up the dumbbells pointing together, but not touching together, okay? So, you don't want to see how it's going out. So, your forearm should be supported. The dumbbell should be supported for by your forearm. So if you're doing shoulder press here, you're gonna come just in from the side, it's gonna look like this. It's not a bicep curve, so keep it up. This is gonna be a starting position. And then with one motion, so you're gonna do a twist and the press. We're not in two, we're gonna do one fluid motion together with the dumbbells. Cool? So we're gonna do one, come back in. Two, just before they touch together, we start pressing back up. 
So if you have live dumbbells like me, what you want to do is go as so slow that you can stop the dumbbell wherever you want. So you want to have full control over the dumbbells by doing this. If it's light, you can still make every exercise super hard. Doesn't matter on the weight. If you're slowing down or if you're doing up reps. We're gonna do one more. And time. Okay. Now we're gonna do just 60 second break. And two more sets. And then we have a finisher. And abs. And we're done. Whew. Let me get some water. Do the same. Okay, super hot. Ready? You have around a good 20 seconds, two more rounds. Do super slow, okay? That's the key. Probably don't have heavy weights at home. So, slow it down. Repetition doesn't matter here. As long as you go to close to failure, you'll be fine. So if you have one set of dumber, if my girlfriend use this, I think she can use around five reps. I might go to 15 or whatever, or I slow it down. But as long as we are both going to failure, so muscle failure, you cannot do more, then it should be fine. You're gonna build muscle. So start from here, press overhead, come back down very slow. Press overhead. This three and four five six I'm gonna two more. Okay, time. Whew. Okay, obviously, if you just do three or five, then it's more strength for you. So, you might want to take a longer break with me. For me, I just want to burn the muscle because it's right. So, I'm taking short breaks. But if, if you have to do low reps because your dumbbells are heavy, take longer breaks. If you can do over 10, one minute break should be enough. Okay, 45 seconds. Be going back. I don't like this setup. Give me a time bath if you like this. Maybe I should change those. I'm gonna try another angle as well. It's not bad, huh? Home studio is coming up, building up. Lights are okay. Hopefully, you can hear me so I can produce more content. I always want to improve, so if you have feedback, let me know. And I'm trying to be better next time. All right. Ready? Last set. Nice and control. One, two, three, four, Ain't the hardest part done. We're gonna have to burn out. So you're gonna like it or hate. We'll see. So this is a common program we do with my client. It's uh, called 100 trainings. If you've heard 100 trainings, it's, it's good finisher. I think it's finisher. Like if unless you're very, very experienced, 
like you've been training for four or five years bodybuilding, then you're gonna find it super, super hard, this one. Although it's, it's uh, supposed to be an easier exercise, an easier version of everything, because you have to do 40 reps at least. So you have to choose an exercise where you can do 40 to 60 reps, anything in that line, and then do as many as you can until you cannot do more. So it has to be failure. So let's say you fail on 40. You did 40 repetition, we're gonna do push-ups. You did 40 push-ups. So from 100, you did 40, you have 60 push-up left. This means you have 60 second break. Once the 60 seconds up, you're gonna do as many as you can, but because you're tired, you're probably gonna do, let's say 20, so 50%, and then you fail, you cannot do more. So now you are 60, you only have 40 second break. So you only have as much break as you have left from the 100 seconds. Hope this makes sense. So if we do this together, if you cannot do 40 push-ups on the floor, then you can use an elevation like a bench, or you can, with my clients, we usually use the side of the sofa, so you can do it in an elevated uh, fashion, and just do as many as you can. Once you reach failure, you stop, bring your uh, stopwatch, and count how many you have left. So if you did, did 40, you have 60 seconds left. If you have 50, you have 50 seconds, and so on. And then you once your time up, you go back, and then keep doing as many as you can, but you only have, the breaks are always shortening. So you're gonna do less repetitions and the break less rest. So we're gonna do maybe 40, 20, and then 10, and then 10, and then eight, and then five. So it's gonna be harder and harder each time. Hope it makes sense. So if you're ready, I'm gonna try to sit on the floor. Pretty tired, so probably gonna fail before 40. But hey, at least I have more break, right? So if you're with me, let's do this. This is the last one on upper body, and we're done. So it's close grip, always as close as you can, okay? So let's make it hard. It's more on the tricep. Think about the tricep finisher. So try to make it tight. And then let's go. As many as you can. Go. Okay, I'm starting. Not bad. Don't worry if your form is not perfect. It's fine, it's the last one. As I'm doing it, this for tricep, I don't want, I want to keep the attention on the muscle. So wherever you fit, try to go all the way down, all the way up. But you can be reasonable. So if you do 90%, still good, you're going to feel the pump. And then uh, this is a finisher, so finish strong. I have seven seconds. You have as much as you did. I have left from 100. Now the second run is going to be way, way harder. So get ready. If you did it on the sofa, nothing changed. You go back to the sofa. Okay? Just make sure it's not too easy. So if you can do 60, 70, then it's too easy. You have to do it in the lower one, maybe at a bench or just on the books. So find a, find a solution where you can do anything around 40. I think that's always a good measure for a finisher. I've got 10 seconds left, and then let's go. Once time is up, you stop it, do the push-ups, and then reset. Ready? I got three, two, let's go. Three, four, three, two, three. Oh my god. Okay. 
50. Now it's getting hard. Super hard. Woo. 50 seconds. I'm gonna grab some water. Almost done, guys. Don't give up now. Okay, I don't know how many we have left. I don't. I have 20 seconds. Wish me luck. Good luck for you as well. If, you, if your form is getting very, very crappy, then just stop, rest, and then start again. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Oh. Now, very tired. So first I did 30, then 20. Now it's just 10. It's getting harder and harder. I have 40 seconds left now only. I don't think I can make five next one. Oh, everything is just burning. My muscles are so exhausted. Even though it's bodybuilding for ages, I like it. Easy in the joints, but definitely much tougher than lifting heavy weights, take big breaks. As this whole session is 45 minutes, where it's very intense on the muscle. Ready? Let's go. Okay, I was dead again. Not too bad. I'm on 70. 30 left to do. Oof. It definitely gets harder. If you're young, you might just laugh at me and say, Oof, it's easy, I can do this all day. It's definitely getting harder with age, but I've got a man who's 63 year old. He does the push ups every each session at the end, last 50 minutes, he does it on with. So if we can do it, everyone can. Okay, I'm 70. Oh my god. Okay, 80. Now I only have 20 seconds back. Oh, hey, if you're with me, good job. I'm almost done. Almost there. I've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, 86. 14 left. That means I have 14 seconds only. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. 13, 12, 11, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three. Let's go. Two, four. Okay. That's complete failure. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Whew. Upper body done. Again. One air exercise, and we're done. Okay, we're gonna use the dumbbells. Oh my god, my chest. One exercise, four to sit ups, and we're done. So, weighted sit up. Hey, 
If the dumbbell is too heavy, just use your body, okay? The dumbbell is just optional. You gotta go back, lay down. Keep your legs straight, arms straight. Push the dumbbell up, and then go and sit up, but try to keep the dumbbells always up to the ceiling. So, what I wanna do is see, I don't wanna see you swinging up your weight and then coming right down, okay? So keep it up. You're trying to make it harder, not easier. And then sit up, legs on the floor, squeeze your butt cheeks. And time. Okay, we gotta go for. Around 10 for three times, okay? Abs are a muscle as well. So if you want to make them grow, uh, which I don't suggest anyone who is overweight, and if you have fat on you, then you don't want to make your abs thicker because it's going to just push your belly even more out. So summertime, more abs when I'm leaner. Winter times, I might not do abs for six, seven months. I just want to lose as much muscle as I can so I can put some fat on for weightlifting, for heavy weight. And then summer, hopefully, when I lose some fat from my abs, then it will show. So it's going to make them pop a little bit. That's my goal. Well, here, if the weight is too heavy, you can do just with your arm. I mean, it's already a very hard exercise if you take your arms off from the sit-up. So if you see people doing this, you get the momentum from the arm. So if you take that from the equation, and you just reach up, my abs are so tight on that. You wanna be like you're in a very, very bad posture on this. So the more you can flex your back, um, it's your abs flexed, then your back is going to curve much. So you want to create that this kind of motion when you're going down, bend your back. I know it looks ugly, but that's what you want for abs. All right, Ooh. one more, oh my God. Ooh. Hey, it's been almost an hour. Doing good guys, if you can, if you do this with me, congratulations, I'm naked, officially. Hope you find this helpful, you get some tips for your upper body workouts at home. Maybe you saw something new. I always try to give as much information as you can so you can adapt to your routine. So take what you like, throw out what you don't need, okay? If you do it different, it's fine. It's a million ways to do the same stuff. You don't have to do the same as me. I'm just trying to educate, educate you, and hopefully we can grow together. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, done. Finish. Oh. Oh. Hey, thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you like it. Learn something new. Oh, I don't know if you see me. Hey, if you like this content, make sure you give me some thumb up so more people can see it. Maybe share it with your friends. 
would be great. Help this channel grow and more people can be fit in this time. I know it's not easy without the gym, but sure you can find ways to, to train your body towards two goals. And if you like this content, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I post daily videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Train complete, guys. Train complete. Peace out. Man, it's hot.